Hi everyone, Ken Kuo here from Tonal Tailpiece. Um, today I'm making a couple of uh, very special tailpieces uh, for a friend of mine uh, who wants a ebony uh, look um, of a Gen 2. Um, so anyway, trying to make something very, very special today. Um, a lot of people ask me, uh, what's the difference between your tailpieces and uh, those of you know some other companies that are making it uh, less expensive by a lot and all I could say is is really um, you know the attention to details is very very important uh, and also the materials that we use um, as you can see I'm using a, a mold here that we created out of carbon fiber and each of the piece uh, of carbon fiber that I'm laying in is used by prepreg. Prepreg is something that already have the resin um, that is um, infused into these fabric. They're basically like a very expensive sticker. Uh, F1 racing team, they're all using um, uh, prepregs right now. And why do I do that is because on the tailpiece itself, I do believe that the different part of the tail pieces require different, um, uh, you know, uh, different layers of material. For example, the part that is actually pulling the string is actually the area that needs the most amount of strength, and also the area that uh, that's pulling the uh, the tail core requires a lot of strength. Um, just like a violin, uh, when we make a violin, um, there's called graduation. There's a center of the violin is always the thickest, and then they graduate from you know different th different thickness. And so is my tailpiece. So by using prepreg, I'm able to address different areas of the tailpieces with the you know different thickness. That is very different from all the other companies that make them by machine. That basically they just put the fabric in there, uh, put slob back a lot of uh, resin and suck it out, and then boom, machine made, machine cut, and then could sell it to you for a fraction of, of the cost. Um, you know, I have a friend of mine used to, I, I asked a friend of mine sometime, and I said, you know, a violin maker these days, a trained violin maker, when they make an instrument, whether it's a violin or a cello, you know, it goes from anywhere from 20000 to as much as Sam Zygmunt Tobi, just a $100,000 cello or something like that. But how is that compared to what you could find on eBay for a $35 violin? You know, you get what you pay for. Um, so so th th the point that I'm trying to make is that there are carbon fiber tail pieces and there are carbon fiber tail pieces. Um, a lot of them are not exactly made the way that uh, you think that I am making them. Um, just for, by doing two tail pieces, laying the fabric is taking me over three, four hours now um, because I'm paying so much attention to the different you know, different areas of the tail pieces, the different directions of how I wanted to put these, you know, carbon fibers, you know, because the different weave actually give it, you know, the, the structure, um, you know, the, the, the flex point is different. So literally it takes a lot of effort. So the difference between a, you know, $50,000 cello and a $500 cello that you see that's from China or from somewhere, it's literally the material and the attention to details. Um, so uh, it has been a pleasure inventing this product. And I, I've heard that there are many companies out there uh, that are copying right now. And um, even down to, even down to the, uh, the design of the website. I, I, was, I saw some websites out there, some incredible. I mean, you know, people are copying, you know, for example, my, my, uh, my name and, and, and the, my, my company name on the left side corner, and they put that on the left side corner as well. It's really impressive that there's, there are people out there that is uh, uh, doing all these imitations out there. But I could guarantee you um, that they are not the same. They are not making it the same. And I actually would love to see if they could post a video of how they make their you know, tail pieces. And if they're actually making them in an hour or two, um, you know, I'll be very surprised if actually they're using the same exact material and also same method. So anyway, lesson is 
it's not all carbon fiber tailpieces are not the same and if i have a cello i mean every piece that i make i make it as if it, this is for my own cello i mean we spend millions of dollars you know on on instruments or hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands or even your 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 precious first cello it doesn't matter it, it's it is something that is so special to every one of us cellists and yes i'm a cellist you know i mean this i mean if if i was something to put something on my cello i want it to be the best i want to be the best and i want some somebody that's you know our bridges are cut um you know by hand you know i want something you know our pegs are shaped by hand um so that's why i'm some i, I wanted to reiterate how important it is to take the utmost care uh even making of the tail pieces it's important to buy something that is of quality okay thank you so much for watching as you can see each one of these areas here you want to make sure that it is of a different thickness in this area and also in this area um, I'm pretty sure that everybody else is actually making them in the same thickness is because when they're using um, resin infusion, meaning that they're sucking out the resin after they slab all over the resin, um, you know, you could only put it in certain directions. And actually, if you look at the thickness of the carbon fiber that we're using, this is the same exact material that F1 Racing is, uh, is using. So we wanna make sure that it is being applied, uh, same thing, to the tailpiece and the different areas. And in order to fit it correctly, we're constantly cutting taping cutting and taping although with the final product you can't see but there are tons of different layers so in here there are at least six layers in here and close to 10 layers here now so this is how we're actually you know making them right now